it's another beautiful day as I welcome you to Menalize TV. So as we have started with statistics, today our topic is bar chart. So when we talk about bar chart, it's a vertical bar that we use to represent what? Data. So this afternoon we are going to look at how to use the table that we are seeing here to draw a bar chart. Let's look at the question that we have. The table below shows the, the distribution of grades of candidates in an examination. So these are the grades that the candidates obtain in an examination. So you have one, two, three, four, five, and six. So the frequency, so that is grade one, only two people obtain grade one, grade two, three, grade three, six, grade four, five, grade five, four, and grade six, ten students. So we are now going to use this information or data to draw a bar chart. So I have my vertical line and then the horizontal line here. So the vertical axis here is the frequency and then the horizontal is the grid. Or another name for the vertical axis is the y axis and then the horizontal is the x axis. So the frequency that you have here, so for the question, you know that the highest frequency here is 10. So I'm using a scale of 2 centimeters to 1 unit. So the scale of 2 centimeters to 1 unit. So this will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. So the frequency here is the same as the number of students that are obtaining what? The set grade. So when you look at grade 1, Grade 1 is having a frequency of 2. That means only 2 people obtain that grade. So the grade 1. So we stand here, we draw up to 2. And this is our grade 1. So we put the 1 here as what? Grade 1. So this grade 1. Is having the frequency of two. That means two people would obtain that grade. Then we go to grade two, which is three. That means three students are what, obtaining the grade two. So the same way. And you come to grade 3, 6 students obtain the grade 3. So because of that, we draw it to where we have the 6. So this is my grade 3, which is having a frequency of 6. Now what you have to take into consideration is that the distance between the bars are the same. The bars are having the same distance. And the size of the bars must also be the same. When you are drawing the bar chart, the size of the bars must be the same. And the distance between the bars must also be what? The same. Now let's go to grade 4. Grade 4, 5 students or 5 people Score grade four five. So we have, sorry, our grade four, which is having a frequency of what five. So because of that, we extend the graph from the origin to where we have our five. Now we come to grade five, which is having what four as its frequency. That means four students obtain that grade, so grade five, four students. So the grade 5 here is having 4 students as what? Each frequency of 4 students 
obtaining that grade. Then move to the grade 6, which is that of 10 students. So 10 students obtaining that grade. So the grade six year, the grade six is having a frequency of ten, and this is what we call a bar chart. So let's recap. So we say that the first thing is when you are drawing the bar chart, the distance has to be the same. Though this one is not drawn up to scale, but the distance has to be the same. The size of the bars must be the same. The height will determine the frequency will determine the height of the bar. So the height will not be the same because of what? The frequency. So we are done with the bar chart. So the grade one is having a frequency of two. So we have it there, grade two, frequency of three, grade three, a frequency of six, grade four, a frequency of five, and then grade five having a frequency of four. And the last one, grade 6, having a frequency of, what? of 10. Now, when you look at it, the squeezing says draw a batter. So that's the batter. Then the second one says find the modal grade. So we say that the mode is the most occurring item. So, or the grade with the highest frequency. So when you look at this, the highest frequency here is 10, and that belongs to the grade 6. So we can say that the grade 6 is the mode so you can see that the modal grade so you can see that the modal grade is grade six because the grade six is having the highest bar or the highest frequency thank you so much for watching today's episode remember to subscribe to the channel Menalize TV for more updates. Menalize TV when the sun rises.